Tia Maori is wearing a wedding ring again, amid reconciliation rumors with husband Corey. Media Takeout is hearing rumors that actress Tia Maori and her estranged husband Corey Hardrick may be getting back together. As Media Takeout reported, the couple abruptly split last summer. Shortly after the split, Tia told her fans that she wanted to live her best life, now that she's well into her 40s. Well, it looks like Tia is returning to her family. Media Takeout has heard rumors that Tia and Corey are exploring the possibility of a reconciliation. And this possibility is becoming ever stronger. Media Takeout noticed that Tia was wearing her wedding ring again. The gorgeous actress was spotted all over her IG page with her beautiful diamond wedding ring. We really hope they both make it. C. Tia is an American actress. She first gained fame through her leading role as Tia Landry in The Sikkim Sister, Sister, 1994-1999, alongside her twin sister Tamara Mowry. The sisters then starred together in the fantasy comedy Seventeen Again, 2000, and voiced the LaBelle sisters in the animated series Detention, 1999-2000. The two also starred in the Disney Channel original film Twitches, 2005, and its sequel Twitches 2. 2007. From 2011 to 2013, they starred in the reality series Tia and Tamara. Murray voiced Sasha in the animated series Bratz, 2005 to 2006. She starred as Melanie Barnett in the comedy drama series The Game, 2006 to 2015. Stephanie Phillips in the sitcom Instant Mom, 2013 to 2015, and Coco McKellen in the sitcom Family Reunion, 2019 to 2022. Murray had leading roles in the teen comedy The Hot Chick, 2002, the musical comedy The Mistletones, 2012, the romantic comedy Baggage Claim, 2013, and the drama film Indivisible, 2018. Tia Mowry is the biggest Jeff T. She gives her kids. Tia Mowry recently appeared on The Jennifer Hudson Show and shared details about her holiday season and the unique gift she gives to her children. Reflecting on her holiday season, Mowry expressed, It's been amazing. My family, we all went to Thailand, which is something that I wanted to do for a long time. I feel like it's the best gift that I can give to my children is traveling and just creating wonderful memories with them and experiences and all that good stuff. The 45-year-old actress added, I'm all about expanding on tradition. Of course, I'm all about gift giving for the kids during the holiday, but I feel like this is something they can hold on to for the rest of their lives. The sister, Sister Alam concluded, I think the biggest gift that I can give them is for them to just learn from other people and from other cultures. It builds character. Murray went on to share with Hudson that although she has been in the entertainment industry since she was four years old, she is not convinced that her children will actually follow in her footsteps. You know as it stands for right now, I don't see it happening, Murray told Hudson. But I do see Cree, he's very talented when it comes to acting. He was on one of my shows that I had done last year called Family Reunion and he did an episode of that. And he's so good. She continued, but I don't think he wants to pursue that right now. It's all about basketball. You know, his dad loves basketball, so it's a great way for them to bond. When it comes to her mini-me, Mary can see Caro occupying the highest office in the land telling Hudson, I think she's going to be the President of the United States. Mori shares five-year-old daughter, Cairo Tana, and 12-year-old son Cree Taylor with all-American actor Corey Hardcrit. Hardcrit and Mowry divorced in October 2022 after 14 years of marriage.